Okay, I'm just documenting this. This meter provides pulses to the summator which I got in uh, the hallway. There's one pulse per four more hours along revolution of the disc. And I'll expand out on these summator meters uh, in the workshop how they work. They get impulses from multiple uh, supplies. So this is on a single phase. This is an S217 modified with a pulse opto pickup in the device. Oh, look at the dose. Okay, still time. Okay, I've got this motor unjammed, so I've got this device sitting here. I'm just documenting all the rectifiers. So. Siemens uh, B250 C100 made in Germany. They're sitting in the base underneath the register module and this plate is on top. And I'm going to implement the whole device back in Capsula 5 and just give it a quick energization. See if there's still some pulses left in the device 5. I need a spring winding. That other device fixed too, which is good. So that motor had jammed. Okay, I've unjammed this particular motor, okay, which had seized up in the device 5. And uh, that's running now. Got half the meter connected up, so I need to do the other side now. A couple more wires to do here. They're fiddly, but we'll get them in there eventually. Couple more here. Well, happy Easter all. Let's energize this device. I said I'm gonna make a video of this device. I just hooked up the cemeter to two kilowatt hour meters. Output. This one is a CT meter, and the other one is a whole current meter. These are some Australian meters I have, and they have a pulse output. Um, originally, these Landers and Gear meters would have been driven by uh, a uh, old Landers and Gear impulsing meter from a different feeder. It's a moment on a phantom mode. One that's a five weight one, there's no fun plate on it. These meters they can be used in uh, buildings or substations where there's multiple feeders, and it's basically collecting impulses from different supply points. Uh, this particular one is get pulses from two meters at the moment from this meter and the other meter, and they're pulsing into this device. Then Different meter constants have different speeds, so these are ratio gears on this side. They can be altered to suit the impulse ratio of the meter. There's an additional set of ratio gears to get the right uh, speed from the meter adjusted to the actual meter, the uh, summator itself. Device. 
this is the total as of now. That device got impulses from the counter I showed in the beginning of the video. And I measured the house load over six registers in this particular unit, controlled by these time switches.